Jackie for Monday, October 2nd, 2023. That's right. It's all the magic news you need in 10 minutes or less. And the first news item to share with you this week is huge congratulations to jean Emmanuel Duprat, your new world champion. That's right. Who could have seen it coming? Me. <laughs> I called it. Thank you, you so you much. You did call it. You did call it. Are you going to milk that for how long you milk that for? Forever. Great. Our next big news item is coming up this weekend. It's Arena Championship 4. That's right. It's historic and Wilds of Eldraine draft. It's got a $200,000 prize pool and two spots at the 2024 World Championship on the line. Yeah, some pretty cool prizes for 32 players who each earn their spot uh, through day two wins during a qualifier weekend. You can watch all the action over at twitch.tv slash magic this Saturday and Sunday starting at 9 a.m. Pacific time each day. At Magic on Vegas, we also got a first look at Lost Caverns of Ixalan, which is coming in just a couple of months. Yeah, it's very exciting. The story uh, picks up with Huatli and Sahili sharing in the Sun Empire's expedition into the caves of Ixalan. Joining them is the new planeswalker Quintorius. Ooh. The new planeswalker eager to dive into the hidden history, as well as Kellen, who we met in Wilds of Eldraine after he traveled through the Omen Pass to arrive at Ixalan. We know that there is a new Huatli. Yes. Which is a very cool double-faced card. She's no longer a planeswalker, one of the many who were de-sparked uh, during, you know, just all of that hullabaloo. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call the Phyrexian invasion. The hullabaloo. All that hullabaloo. Yeah. Anyways, Watley, poet of unity, two and a green for a 2-3 legendary creature, human warrior bard. Uh, when she enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. You can pay three and then hybrid red-white, hybrid red-white to exile her and return her uh, to the battlefield transformed as the saga Roar of the Fifth People. We also learned that the, there's a whole bunch of new full art lands uh, uh, with the how do they keep making the most gorgeous <laughs> full art lands yet because they've done it again yeah these are these are so beautiful really I especially incredible. love the forest they have a little icon for yeah. their um land type on them as well which is really really I don't know I think they're kind of divisive but I think they're very beautiful I think that they're incredibly beautiful we also saw a few new cards including new treatments and art done in a meso or south american style like the skull spore nexus this is six green green for an legendary artifact it costs x less to cast where x is the greatest power among creatures you control whenever one or more non-token creatures you control die create a green fungus dinosaur creature token with <laughs> base power and toughness each equal to the total power of those creatures. You can also pay two and tap it to double target creatures power until end of turn. Well, this tells me that there's going to be some big creatures in this set. Oh, yeah. And amongst them, Galta is back. Oh, she back. Oh, she's back. Galta Stampede Triumphant 5. Green, green, green. Legendary creature, Elder Dinosaur. She's a 12-12 still. Don't worry. Don't worry. She hasn't gotten smaller. Trample. When Galta Stampede Tri Tyrant enters the battlefield, put any number of creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield. <laughs> Great. Ah! A plus. Love it. Cavern of Souls is back as well, everybody, which I'm quite happy oh, this about. This art is incredible. It has a neon ink treatment, which we haven't seen since Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, which you can find in collector boosters with varying rarity by the neon ink color once again. Yeah, they're also going to be debuting a new thing in collector boosters here with Ixalan, something called Special Guests, which is powerful master's level reprints with new art that matches the aesthetics of the set. So it's not just going to be in Ixalan, it's going to be in sets moving forward, uh, such as Mana Crypt, which they also previewed with a new glorious art. Well, oh, also, this art is I mean, awesome. so good. It's, it's sick. Uh, it's so good. It's really good. Um, it's also going to be in those neon ink styles as yeah. well, everybody. Uh, you can find these special guest cards. Uh, foils are going to be in collector boosters and non-foils will be in set boosters. Amazing. The debut video for Ixalan is October 24th. The release is November 17th. And tied to the release of Ixalan is a new Universes Beyond. This time, it's Jurassic Park, baby. You, you are not surprised. No, <laughs> makes sense. Found in set and collector boosters, this is 26 cards done in the style of Jurassic Park. For instance, we have Ian Malcolm, Chaotic, Chaos Titian. Chaotic Titian. Chaotic, 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 chaotician. There it is. Anyways, <laughs> one blue red for a 2 2 legendary creature, human scientist. Whenever a player draws their second card each turn, that player exiles the top card of their library. During each player's turn, that player may cast a spell from among the cards they don't own, exiled with Ian Malcolm, chaotician. 
and mana of any type can be spent to cast it. Uh, there's also going to be a secret lair Jurassic Park, which will be coming along your way soon, with more details on that to be released. And no, we are not done nope. with Ixalan stuff. There are four new pre-con commander decks that will come with the set's release. Ahoy Mateys, which is Pirates, Blood Rites, which is Vamps, Explorers of the Deep, which is Merfolk, and Velasa Ramp Tour, which is Dinos. You love it. You love to see it. <laughs> now we've got big news about a new secret lair Ooh. Super Drop, which is the Spoon drop for 2023. Oh my goodness. The first one is Princess Bride. I love it. It's Princess so Bride. Much. It's Princess Bride done and Alphonse Mooka style. Oh, it's I, so good. I can't get over it. We have art by Dimitri Burmack, Ekaterina Burmack, Sam Hogg, Leus Lasahito, Martin Nail, Nestor Osadon, Leal, Anna Pavliva, Magali Villanov and Andreas Zafirators. Uh, for instance, here, this, I mean, this is the best. Uh, they're all great. They're all so good. But there is, of good. course, a reprint of Battle of Wits. Oh. Uh, three blue blue enchantment at the beginning of your upkeep. If you have 200 more cards in your library, you win the game. But of course, it has the it has the battle of wit scene. Yeah, they're with the, you know, the poison with the, and the with cups. The Aya cane. Yeah. It's I so. So it's good. So good. It's so good. Uh, there's also Creep Show, uh, which is also extremely cool. This is a collaboration with the cult horror franchise inspired by Pulp Comics, with art by Cabrol, Andrea De Dominicus, Greg Staples, Jarrell Threat, Michael Walsh, and Scott Okamura. I love these ones on the front have like if it was the cover, and then they also have the same card on the back side, but done as like a panel or a page from the comic book. Oh, the, the, which these is are incredible. Very cool. Truly incredible. Incredible. Oh, uh, there's Evil Dead, yes! which is, of course, a collaboration with the cult classic movie franchise, yes! Evil Dead, with art by Faye Dalton, Warren Mayhe, and Josh Newton. We, for instance, have Ash Destin Survivor, which is a reprint of Pure Steel Paladin. So it's just incredible. I'm really big fan. Great. Big fan. Uh, then we have Meditations on Nature, not for something completely different. Not for something <laughs> completely different. <laughs> These are a beautiful full art lands with art by Zheng Shan. Uh, just done in the classic Japanese brush art style. Yes, they're uh, so gorgeous. The planes, I'm a huge fan of. We also have Pixel Lands again, and this time they are not snow. Yay! I'm so happy. This These ones, once again, have art by Jubilee, and it's, do you know what? It's great. It's the Pixel Lands. They're I, bangers. I bought them last time. I'm going to do it again. I can't <laughs> be stopped. I love Lands in Secret Lairs. Anyway, uh, there's also John Avon Secret Lair. Yes, so four cards from John Avon, known for doing Lands, but he was like, just so you all know, I can also do, I, I'm <laughs> a great out. artist all around yeah. the board, so... <laughs> Here we go. And if you're not done, if you're not, if you need more lands, don't worry. There's Dalek lands. Yes. <laughs> which are like the Czech lands uh, with Daleks in them. <laughs> so, you know, here we go. Spire Bluff Canal. It's very, out, very you know cute, I mean. actually. Like the Spire Bluff Canal one. I know, it's, I know Daleks are spooky, but the Spire Bluff Canal is cute. It Look, is, I'm sorry. They're, they're going down I the sidewalk cute. on a bridge. <laughs> There's also some more Doctor Who stuff. Weeping Angels. Yes. It's all angels for magic, but done in Weeping, Weeping Angels style from Doctor Who. Uh, I put this restoration angel art in here as the example because it's so cool. It's very, this one's very like, spooky. This one's one of my favorite ones, uh, but they're all very, very cool. Uh, we now have a first look at Ravnica Remastered, everyone. Ooh, no, we're not done no, yet. No, we're not. More news. This is available in stores January 12th. It spans 13 sets over 16 years. It's all reprints all the time, celebrating the guilds and the best of Ravnica, including reprints of the Shocklands. Yeah, packs will include retro frame treatments in draft and collector boosters. And yes, even the Shocklands get retro frame treatments. Oh, they're really gorgeous. niv it looks great. Yes. In collector boosters, you'll also find borderless anime treatments like Fibble Thip the Lost. And you'll also find borderless Shocklands. Oh. Do you like Shocklands? This set is for hey, you. Hey, good news. Good news. <laughs> Previews officially start on December 19th. It will only be available in paper. Coming up is Extra Life 2023. Everybody, it's the 10-year anniversary of Watsi's partnership with Extra Life, benefiting the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. And this year, uh, their goal is to raise $1.3 million. That's right. There's a secret 
Belair and My Little Pony crossover drop, which is available until November 6th. It has four new ponies. Love these ponies. Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, and Rainbow Dash. And there's also a tie-in to MTG Arena, as there has been in the past as well. There's going to be an Extra Life Treasure Brawl happening on October 29th. It's a special event where you start with Extra Life and make a treasure <laughs> token it. on your upkeep. Very cute. <laughs> Plus, there will be a My Little Pony sleeve bundle available on Arena October 30th through November 13th for 1,600 gems, and a Johnny Extra Life sleeve for 600 gems, and a Pinkie Pie avatar for 500 gems. There's lots of cool merch also available in the pro shop. You've, they've got play mats, shirts, stickers, and really cool jackets. That Sick jackets. They remind me of... Um, what am These I thinking have very, of? Grease? Are you yeah, thinking Greece, of the Pink Ladies? The Pink Ladies jackets the very Pink Greece. Ladies jackets. Yeah, and all those proceeds, uh, of course, also go to benefit Children's Miracle Network. Uh, you can get one in time for the November 4th game day stream. And finally, the Dr. Hugh... Who... Uh, Dr. Hugh... <laughs> Dr. Hugh is a different show <laughs> with just a doctor named Hugh. Yeah, and, but and like, just a guy. wait, did we just invent house? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Dr. Yeah, Who previews kick off tomorrow. <laughs> the official preview show is at 9 a.m. Pacific on twitch.tv slash magic. You can get a list of when and where you can find previews on dailymtg.com. And each deck will have its own preview day with the full list posted around 2 p.m. Pacific. Well, that's all the magical news we have for you Ooh, this week. It that's was a all? lot. It was a lot, everybody. If you want more in-depth commentary and all this kind of stuff, you can check out our full-length episode of Good Luck High Five, available wherever you listen to this. And you can support this show, that show, and everything that we make here at Good Luck High Five over on patreon.com slash glhfmagic.